Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm going to do a drawing of this seashell on black paper with white Prismacolor pencil. Thanks for clicking. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up down below. If you got any questions or ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments for me. So first thing I did with my pencil is I kind of laid it out, uh, sketched it. Um, one of the things that concerned me and some of my students as I was doing this was that um, there was going to be white pencil left behind and there was no way of erasing it. Well, for me, usually I leave all of my layout lines behind anyway. I don't usually erase. Uh, I try and draw lightly at the beginning and that way I don't have to erase too much or if I do have to erase it's easy but then I usually just end up leaving my layout lines my sketchy lines I, I usually end up leaving them anyway so uh, I never went back and erased anything you can see my final drawing at the very end of this video uh, I never went back and erased anything and then a lot of my mistakes were covered up when I shaded in um, so when I shaded in, or not shaded in, but when I colored in the white, that usually covered up most of my uh, sketchy layout lines. So don't worry about that too much. Don't worry about erasing. Just keep on going. Um, if you want to, you could probably start off by drawing it in pencil, and then you could erase, but I don't think you could see that any less. Uh, we had a picnic today at school, and they made us hamburgers and hot dogs. So eating that while I draw. Um <clears throat> try and start out light uh, that is drawing light but not uh, drawing with a little bit of pressure so you don't have really really bright whites at first and then you can build those up and make them whiter and whiter as you see that you need to uh, drawing the shell was a real challenge because even after I was done and even after I think I had done everything pretty accurately it's still kind of hard to tell what it is um, I mean, it's just a really abstract, organic shape anyway, and um, it's a seashell and didn't do anything to it. Just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but then when I asked everybody what I had drawn uh, without looking at the shell, I'd, I'd take it up to people and ask them what it was. I got weird answers like, it's that guy from Jeeper Creepers upside down, or is it a fish? You know, uh, it, it's just a really exaggerated, pokey, bizarre looking seashell. So anyway, um, and then after a little while, I w started doing the shadows. And when I did the shadows, I put my seashell on top of a white piece of paper so that they would be a lot more pronounced. Uh, that is the shadows on the piece of paper um, beneath the shell. Just uh, kind of take your time and look for the lights and start building them up. And uh, don't, you know, just like if you were doing with pencil, don't get, don't, don't press down too hard at the beginning. Build it up and, and add, add to it. Uh, then I started shading everything, the table in and leaving the shadow alone. So one of the things that's really great about this project is it causes you to have to think in reverse of what you normally do you instead of drawing the shadows and drawing the dark areas you're actually starting almost with the highlights and drawing the highlights first and leaving the shadow completely alone like not touching the black paper with pencil uh, not touching the black paper with colored pencil if you want it to be the shadow itself so i'm actually right here coloring in the table this is one of the things that my students uh, didn't quite get it first because you know usually when you draw with a pencil on white paper a lot of times you just leave the paper alone you might sketch in the shadow but you don't sketch in any of the table well here I'm actually coloring the table white so that the shadow stands out and uh, pretty pleased with how it turned out uh, even though it's pretty abstract and kind of hard to tell what it is uh, right off I think if you compare the the seashell the real seashell with my drawing it, it's pretty accurate I mean it's not a photocopy or a photograph of it in any way but uh, I think it's clear enough but without looking at the actual seashell it's really kind of hard to tell what it is because it's pretty abstract I think uh, tell me what you think uh, does it look like a seashell 
Uh, did I do good? Um, do you think that uh, you could do this? I uh, challenge you to try it and do it. It was a lot of fun. And um, do you think your students could do it? What level is this for? Is this a high school project or a middle school project? Or is it college level? Uh, I have my AP students do this, and uh, sometimes my drawing students do this project. And here are some examples of theirs. Uh, again, this is another seashell that one of my students picked out. This is a special light bulb for a projector, and it's foreshortened here, kind of in perspective. And a old-timey, not really old-timey, <laughs> but a camera from like the 80s, 90s maybe. Uh, the skull of something we haven't decided yet. Um, might be a possum skull, not sure. And an hourglass. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and let me know what you think.